Those of you who've been crafting and quilting for a long time will probably remember the nightmare that was puff paint. I remember it was so fabulous, the kids thought it was great, but within five minutes of using it, it peeled off. Well, there's a new puff paint out. It's called Lumiere 3D, and it's by Jacquard. And it sticks, it stays exactly where you put it, and it doesn't come off, and it's wonderful and funky and weird. But the best thing I like about it is that it acts as an adhesive, so I can stick stuff into it and it stays. So imagine glue in every color you could imagine so that you don't have to worry, is this glue gonna show? On this little piece, I simply added some dimensional black dots and some dimensional black zigzag here because it just needed a little bit of perking up. The product itself comes in these wonderful little squeeze bottles. They cap really nice and tightly so that the ends don't get uh, crusted over. And they, they just work wonderfully. I believe there are 24 colors, if I'm right, and most of them are metallic. So I'm going to show you how I like to use it. And again, I'm going to be using it directly from the, the um, applicator. Now, if you think that um, it might not be thin enough or the hole might, be, might, might, might not be small enough, you can go ahead and put it into another applicator that's thinner but I'm gonna go ahead and use this particular hole. And I'm gonna start by making some lines out from the center of these flowers, and then I'm gonna end by finishing, by putting a flower in there. And then I'm gonna put a dollop of the paint on top of the flower, and it's just gonna perk this piece up. So I'm gonna start by doing veins, and I already have some stitched veins, so I'm just gonna kind of work in between those stitched veins. And this is gonna be a wonderful raised design and I'm just putting a little bit of a wave in there. And then I'm gonna put a dollop in the middle and I'll set the flower bead right down in that middle. And then I'm gonna put a dollop on top of the bead to cover that hole. Isn't that easy? It's so easy. And it just really takes everything up at a little notch and makes it a little bit more interesting So it's kind of like getting dimensional applique out of a flat piece. And remember, no two flowers are exactly the same, so yours don't have to be either. Whoops. I'll fix that here. I'm going to put one more little swirly do there in my center. And there we go. We've just taken this piece and added a little bit more interest to it. Now, my favorite way to use it is entirely as a glue. So I did this piece earlier, and I've got all these centers to all of these flowers, and that's what I'm going to do. I am going to um, use this gold, and what I'm going to stick into it is some miniature glass bead. Those are beads that are so tiny they have no hole, so they have to have glue and this very weird and funky elongated um, glitter. So it's long pieces of glitter and it's black. So I will use, I will go ahead and um, squirt the gold on into the circles here and just get it in there. And then I'm gonna use this, spoo this stick to smooth it into the circle before I add the embellishments. I've tried using a paintbrush, but the paintbrush tends to want to um, leave brush marks, and I don't like the brush marks. There I go. So now, I'm gonna put in just a few of these wonderful beads and then a little bit of this very strange black so it looked like the hairs that are in the center of a flower those little pistils or stamens or whatever they are 
and now I have a very complex center for my flower. Now I'm not going to take the excess of that off until the paint is entirely dry. But I'm going to go ahead and do this to all of those flowers. And not only is the center going to be raised, it's going to be raised with inclusions. It's going to have all these wonderful embellishments in it. I'm going to have that great play of pink and black off that gold and have a really interesting flower center. And it's going to perk this quilt all the way up and make it really interesting. So give this stuff a try. It's really cool. Lumiere 3D uh, dimensional paint. And it's a great adhesive.